What's up everyone, this is Autocus Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you my top 14 features that I need to see in iOS 13 in order to restore my faith in Apple. So before we get started with this video, I just want to let you guys know that it took so long to make, so I'm going to give up 10 seconds to the sponsor of the video. Honey is the greatest way to save money on the internet. It helps find the greatest coupons that you can use on Amazon and basically any other shopping site. Make sure to click the link down below in the description and help support the channel. Okay, so now that's out of the way, iOS 12 was an update that everyone was looking forward to, but it turns out it was just an update that brought bug fixes and emojis. Now, the past couple of updates have been stale, mainly just because people have been craving something similar to the bump from iOS 6 to iOS 7, and I'm hoping that iOS 13 is going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be hopefully seeing a new design change and hopefully a new UI. So one thing I want to have changed is the ability to add widgets on the home screen. I think this would be an awesome feature to have. I have a lot of space on my home screen and I could really use a widget on it. I think that would be awesome and I could place it just like an application. That would be really cool to see. The ability to remove the dock on the iPhone would be amazing. But not only that, but probably also have an adaptable dock. So maybe if you remove one icon from the dock, maybe the dock will shrink so that way it's a correct proportion to maybe having three apps. Because if you have one application in the dock, it just looks really ugly with this giant blurred effects around it. Something that needs to be changed in iOS 13 is shortcuts. Whenever you launch a shortcut on the home screen, it opens up the app and then it opens up any sort of toggle or menu option inside the shortcuts app. But for example, if you open it up from the widget panel, it has this really nice platter that you can go ahead and select whichever shortcut you want. And then any sort of menu is displayed with this nice blurred effect in the widget panel. So I don't get why Apple can't take this pop-up menu and just add that to the home screen. I think that would look less thrown together looking. So the camera is an application that Apple optimized in iOS 12 and their whole purpose of this was so that way you could take photos in a blink of an eye when it was at the moment so that way you could get that photo that you wanted. But you're actually hindered by this main problem in iOS 12 and it's been a problem for a while. You can't change your record video settings unless you're inside of the settings app. You should be able to have a quick toggle inside the camera application to be able to choose if you want to do 4K at 30fps or 1080p at 60fps. I think that's just a no-brainer that needs to be changed. Something else I want to see is new wallpapers. In the past iOS update, we saw one new wallpaper. The one before that, we saw another new wallpaper, and that's it. We didn't see like a whole new refresh of wallpapers. What I really want to see is to keep the current wallpapers we have, but also for Apple to add a bunch of new ones and maybe even just new dynamic or live wallpapers. That would be something I would really look forward to. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about that. I also want to be able to customize my control center. So my main issue with this is that you can only customize the toggles at the bottom. You're not able to customize the toggles up top with the Wi-Fi and the music icon. You're not allowed to do any of that. So I don't know why we can't just customize that in iOS 13. I think that would be a great feature to be able to rearrange any of these controls. Now, of course, the long awaited and forgotten night mode. Apple basically ditched this with smart invert. Ah oh, man, it was so poorly done. And I really wanna see a night mode in iOS 13. I hope Apple gets it together because this would be awesome. But not only that, I hope they're true blacks. Not only would this look amazing, but this would save battery life if you had an OLED screen. And on top of that, it blends in perfectly and hides the notch. I don't know if you guys know this, but Apple was being sued for using wallpapers through advertising in order to hide the notch. I think having a night mode would be awesome because they want to hide the notch so bad and yet they're not even doing it. I think it's so weird what Apple's doing right now. I think they should just add a night mode. Anyway, maybe that's a separate video for my second channel. Also, speaking of night mode, Apple has an issue with consistency. You can see whenever you're playing a song and you get a notification, you get this really weird issue with the colors. They're just two different colors. One's dark, one's light. And on top of that, I saw this off of Reddit. Every single battery icon that Apple uses is different. So when you plug in your iPhone, you get a different icon from when you're charging on the home screen versus the lock screen versus if you're not charging. It's just a mess. So I want you to guys to take a look at every single battery icon throughout your device, whether it's on a home screen, lock screen, inside an app, charging, not charging, and you guys will notice they're all different. It's very weird. And one more thing about consistency is the settings icon inside of the settings app. So the settings icon actually does not match 
the settings icon that you see on the home screen. So you can see that inside of the application for general, it looks different versus the software update one and the one you see on the home screen. So that's kind of weird, again, with the inconsistency. On top of that, I would like to see Apple to fix third-party keyboards. Third-party keyboards are messed up whenever you use like Gboard or any other keyboard. You get this really ugly white bar at the bottom. I don't really like the way it looks. And Apple's supposed to be a refined operating system and you can't have crap looking like this inside the system you it just looks ugly. Now something I really would love to see would be Circle applications. We've seen it on the Apple Watch, we've seen it on iMacs, and on top of that we've seen it on older iPods. This would be something that I think people would really enjoy if they were to have it on iOS 13. This is a feature that I think would give even just enough of a refresh that people would be okay with rather than completely redesigning the applications. Something I would love to see as well is maybe adding another ability so that way when you double click the power button, Rather than opening up Apple Pay, you can choose maybe if it opens up another application or your most recent app or something like that. I think a quick toggle button would be really cool just if you were to press the button within a certain sequence of times or something like that. Now a main problem I absolutely hate is the EQ settings inside of the music application. I wish I could have a graph that I can change specifically what type of bass I want to hear, but on top of that, whatever my EQ setting is inside the music app, it's not system wide. So if I'm watching a YouTube video and it happens to be playing music, it's not going to match what I hear inside the music application. 3D Touch is also rumored to disappear with the release of the newer iPhones, and this isn't really a new feature, I just want Apple to keep this feature. I think this feature is amazing, I use it so much, it gives the device just a little bit more personality, and to take it away I think would be a step in the wrong direction. And last but not least, least, I think a better low power mode would be amazing. And what I mean by this is that you, maybe you could force press it inside of control center and you could get an option to choose what percentage of your CPU your iPhone uses. So that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.